Glen Cree works to deepen reconciliation by bringing people together to dialogue and build capacity. We are currently working with a young peace builders group as young people from north and south are central to building a shared future. These young people have been involved in meetings and workshops for a number of months. This residential was one of the events and the voices and images reflect the place and purpose. Their opinions and willingness to work together are important in creating change. Glen Cree offers them support but the impact of this project depends on them. We need to listen to these voices. Um, I'd like to learn more about the conflicts in the north um, and the role of young peace builders and young leaders in um, kind of going forward um, in a positive way. I'm here because I think peace and reconciliation is a priority. And I am on this project to work with um, people, young people from across Ireland um, in order to build for a more progressive future on this island. And I'm here to develop a greater understanding for the issues that are still facing Ireland north and south and to meet other like-minded people. And I'm here in Glen Cree this weekend to get to know other people that are interested in the same kind of stuff I am, so peace building in the island of Ireland. And I'm here because I partially believe that young people are the only ones in our society that will be able to move us forward because our politicians are too embittered by the legacy of the conflict. I'm here to learn more about Glen Cree, peace building and reconciliation. I'm very interested in integrated education and how that may help the peace process in the future. No, but so much to there's loads to talk about, but I mean, we need to at some point in this, why they call this thing galvanising, I think that's a good concept. They're actually saying, we can talk about this, but we've got to do something. Yeah, yeah and, like, you know, there might be differences in your social policy versus your economic policy versus your, um, you know, politics around nation or culture. And, yeah. Uh, no, no, I was just thinking about that, that was maybe a weird cure. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, so that's about um, starting true real skills, but these people will start from childhood. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, it was quite personally satisfying as well because it gave you an opportunity to think about your identity and an opportunity to maybe kind of get to hear other people's. Like for example, like Fiona and I kind of came up with the exact same thing as being boxed into a certain kind of perception. And it was kind of great to actually hear that other people are going through that and they have the same identity. But also it's sort of to actually think about what you know, what do I like um, associated with my identity and you know you know because you mightn't actually think of it until you're actually told to write it down you know you might you don't think like well this is this is me like you know or. as well as taking part in group discussions the young people engage in a series of games including role play to better understand each other's backgrounds good evening everybody and welcome to this week's meeting of apathetics anonymous has anyone anything they'd like to share with the group this week Bloody southerners they have not a clue they haven't visited anywhere in the north at all. I can know, sure, like, they think that that border is, like, flipping concrete line. Like, I they know. Don't know. They're talking about their flags and protests, so why would I want to know about that? They're ridiculous, like, it's just like, sectarian this, sectarian that, peace walls, oh. like... Oh. So, like, oh. carry on crack, lemon Yeah, clue that I had, Adam. Are here to show you the other walking? Yeah, crack. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking about absolute rubbish. I don't know, am I supposed to bloody understand any of that? This was an exercise exploring the nature of conflict, trust and forgiveness. So it began with three different still images of each of those words and the images were then interlinked to see what the links between the words are and it then became a moving silent scene. Uh, this weekend I had the privilege of meeting people from different backgrounds from across North and South of Ireland that I wouldn't usually have the opportunity to meet um, and I have a renewed sense of hope for the future of Ireland. And this weekend I had a real opportunity to learn what life is like in the North and understand more of the relationship between the North and South as well as gain more of an understanding of different types of leadership, facilitation and seeing how that group dynamic works together. It was a really inspired weekend to see how much potential is between the young people and um, how much potential they have to change things and accept one another. It was how to really like listen to people and how to just really appreciate different views and different ideas and I think that's something which I'm going to take away and like 
Really disappointed myself. And I had fun. I jumped in a lake. I played loads of games. And I did not see any sort of political views or religious views as barriers in getting to know new people. Um, this weekend has made me realise that the conflict in, in Northern Ireland has affected more than just the North and it also affects people from the South. And um, hopefully like in the future we're all going to um, focus on getting some equality in Ireland and Northern Ireland. The one thing that I thought that we had in common, regardless of our political backgrounds, is the fact that we want everybody to thrive socially and economically and we're all aiming for a peaceful future together.